Hey friends, I'm Ty, the pie guy. I'm a fifth generation baker, a moderately talented kite flyer, and here to teach you all how to cook a delicious and nutritious meal at home. Ty the pie guy. I got a message today on the oven phone from my good friend, Sammy Salmon. Hi Ty the pie guy, it's Sammy Salmon from Flint, Michigan. Look, my favorite food is pizza. Honestly, if I could eat it every day, I would, but my mom says I have to eat a normal breakfast. I told her that cold pizza for breakfast was delicious and amazing, but she said, no, what should I do? Your friend, Sammy Salmon. I really wanted to help, so I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, until finally, it came to me. Today we're going to make breakfast pizza. Here's what you need. One and a half cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, one and a quarter cups of milk, one egg, one package of raspberries, one teaspoon of sugar, one cup of shaved coconut. To start, mix the flour, baking powder, eggs, and milk Dude, in a large- Dude, you intolerant, right? To start, mix the flour, water, baking powder, and egg in a large bowl and mix real well. Yeah, it does make noise like that. Now, get a grown up to grease and heat up the pan. Pour the mix in. And now, let it cook. You ready to flip? All right, ready? One, two, three! Now that you have a large pancake, or pizza crust, saute and crush some raspberries and sugar in a pan. But be careful, because this can get very- <laughs> Now spread the sauce over the pizza, and sprinkle the shaved coconut, or cheese, on top. Now that's a nice a pizza. Can you stop talking like that? Why, because it's cheesy? Now cut the pizza, and enjoy. Mm. My goodness, that's delicious. And it's pizza. Delissimo. Thank you, Italy. Actually, Ty, the first pizza came from ancient Greece, way back before people even knew what tomatoes were. Back then, the pizza was sweeter and square. Did you just come out of the drawer? That's just Rose, my little sister. Well, smarty pants, if it actually came from ancient Greece, then when did it make its way to Italy? Not till the 1600s. But back then, they called it focaccia. The pizza we know and love today was made in honor of Italian Queen Marguerite, using red tomatoes, green basil leaves, and white mozzarella cheese, the same colors as the Italian flag. Oh, well, that's actually really thorough and informative. Well, I have to go back and study the history of Calzone. Want to order some pizza for dinner tonight? Yeah, sure. Now just be sure to clean up the mess. You're gonna let me clean up, right? Next time, try making the pizza pancake with strawberry yogurt as the sauce and any of these toppings, such as pineapple, blueberries, maybe even granola. You're gonna give me a ride home, right? Until next time, bon appetit and stuff. Something's crumbling and nothing's cooking in the kitchen yet. Don't fret, it's not the bye guy. And something's crumbling and nothing's cooking in the kitchen.